We here at the Game Super Abstracts always support any and all in our vault of creation and distribution of any show we feature. We'll encourage any of those watching to support the official release. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you pre-recorded from our internet caps. This is the Gaming's Lunar Tracks for January 7th, 2017. With your host, Peacemaker2448. And Grandpa Epsilon. Ah, I'm, I'm glad I didn't fuck up and say 2016 for no apparent reason. Well, I mean, technically you would still be right. I mean, we're, we're recording this on the last possible day of 2016. And the final hours before. I hate 2017. Uh. And now I'm skimming through Twitter just to see anything and I see New Year's Eve stuff. Okay, yay. Anyway. That's all you'll we're see. Gonna... Yeah, that's all I'm going to really see. Anyway, we're going to keep rolling with double this week. But 27 and 28. The D was watching the transparent magical lady and twin maximum suicide. Shotaro does something really stupid this episode. And, and that's about it. <laughs> that, that, that is the short and long of how we can describe what Shotaro is going to be doing this week. Because he's going to do something really stupid. That's the only thing I remember from these two episodes is he does something really stupid. <laughs> and damn near gets himself killed. Mm -hmm. But so. Any I thoughts going on? Right uh the really stupid thing in a weird sort of way gets called back in the second to last episode of Double. Kind of. I don't know if that's clicking for you or not. Not right off hand. Alright. I'm sure it will, though. But once we get in there, bro, most likely. So. Guess we might as well just get this one rolling as soon as I click the correct episode in the folders. <laughs> and stop it from playing. But you ready? I guess so. All right, links are in the description down below as always, so folks can watch along if you feel like watching along with us. TV Nihon subs as always, because those are the subs that are in the links. Okay. Still, Yeah. hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I'd recognize that title card anywhere. To be fair, TV Nihon's the only one that does title cards. Like, no other subgroup does title cards besides them. Well, it's fitting. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to kick it off here in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, before you poked me, I was watching slash listening to one of the uh, someone doing some Pokemon Uranium and not really caring for the game. Hmm. They're just like, why is Poke this Pokemon story trying to be real mature? <laughs> there, there is no reason for Pokemon to be mature. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, how they do the whole Pokemon catch tutorial does seem a bit half-assed. Huh. They don't really show you the battle and how to catch a Pokemon. It's just like, hey, you battle a Pokemon, you get a self-download, you throw a Pokeball at it, you catch the Pokemon. All right, have a nice day. There's uh, no getting out of it. <laughs> also, your rifle is a just, mm, pussy. Oh, I wouldn't wow. say a pussy. He's a brat, is what he is. <laughs> He's a great A brat. <laughs> Which is probably not a good thing for your rival to be.
Yep. Oh. Disappear. Get... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get to tell you that I'm having a problem finding one of my books for this next semester. All I've been given is a title, two editions to pick from, and an author, and I can't find it. Huh. I emailed the teacher to give me an ISBN for either one of them, and he hasn't gotten back to me since then. Hmm. Huh. If he doesn't give me an ISBN, I'm just going to focus on getting the other books, which the teachers haven't gotten back to me to confirm that I need those books. So, well... Hey, she's the one who fell on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, he deserves that slap. Well, she's not really a dope hunt until she gets a monster form, so I think we're okay. Maybe. Well, as long as she doesn't try to kill anyone, we're, we're going to be all right. Oh, and I forgot there was no X8 this week. <laughs> or today. We don't oh. get X8 until next week. Oh, the wake break for the new year. Mm-hmm. So we don't get to see double Mighty X Bros in action just yet. I'll, I'll still echo what we were saying at the end of TGS this week. X A needs help right now. It's just a little bit. Just needs to stop spamming shit and just slow down. I, I'm still thinking we're fixing to hit that point. Like I'm, I'm getting game vibes, and if if you remember correctly, we did kind of get minor form spam. Like it wasn't focused form spam like this is, but yeah, we did kind of get it. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is just a over exaggerated concept on that. Mm. especially with coming off of Ghost, and I would have to think Toy Cells did fairly decent at the beginning of Ghost. I would hope so for as much product as they had out there. I mean, <laughs> you got enough of it, you're going to make money somewhere. Yeah. I mean, we had, what, nearly all 15 icons out by this point in Ghost? Yeah. I mean, it already feels like they've learned they can have a bunch of toys without screwing the plot because they've not done that yet with Exide. I'm not going to say that we can rule that out, but at least they're learning. Yeah. Also, have they brought up the whole thing about the 10 gas hats? Granting something if you collect them all from the beginning, from the, like the first episode? No. I don't remember that quote, though. I'm like, what do they get for all 10 gas hats when they clear them? Because I forgot. I can't remember. I think it's something that's been thrown out at this point. <laughs> Either that or it's just something that didn't really matter. Kind of deal. Well, it came from Poppy. So I assumed it was important. But... 
on top of that, we kind of know her background, so it's like, can we really trust what we hear out of her, too? Yeah. She is a nice bugster. I mean... Kind of makes you wonder. Mm-hmm. I do hope they keep her good for the whole series. I... <sighs> Just keep her good. Like I'm, I miss the fact that we don't have any good monsters in Rider right now. What what I'm fearing they're gonna do is turn her evil at the end. Let's not do that. Like, like be... that's that's what I'm fearing. I hope they don't. But it's like, yeah, something tells me that they're gonna try to spin this to where she's the final villain. That seems a bit extreme. Right now it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, if anyone is final villain, it is either Gem. I don't think it's him. He's he, probably mid. Yeah, he'll be mid-season. <laughs> uh, it's not Graphite, but I think he's still alive. No. No. If I'm not mistaken, he got flowers. No, Kiryu got flowers. Graphite didn't get flowers. I was thinking he did, too. No, he was in this last episode. Yeah, he was in this last episode. Then you're not talking about graphite. So it's the other guy that I'm thinking of that was in this last episode. Yes. What the fuck is his name? Because I don't know his name. I can't remember. <laughs> it, it's one of those that's been said, but it's been barely said, so... Yeah. I'm like, the only person I know is Graphite, but that's because it's been said enough. I assume the other, I think the other guy is Paradox at this point. Yeah, I he's think gonna he's going to have to be. Because unless they just shoehorn someone else into it, yeah. And it makes the most sense because he's like dropped the little puzzle things here and there. Yeah. You probably should have left out that last part. Good one. <laughs> well, if I'm going to make a prediction of who Final Villain is, I think it's someone we haven't seen yet. Whoever I mean is the orchestrator of the Bugster virus to begin with. That's what I'm hoping, but something's telling me they're going to try to spin that. Like, I'm totally expecting them to be like, oh yeah, our final villain is a Bono-esque character that's going to be introduced, like, in somewhere in the 20s and 30s. Like, that would be the thing. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, we have no writer conflict, so it has to be someone that's going to be introduced in. Mm-hmm. Like I think you might be on something right on to something right there about a Bono S character. Yeah, because we still don't know like where the Bugster Fires came from, I don't think. The thing is though, Gim is kind of the one that I would associate with that at this point. Because he, he, seem, he seems like he's the most orchestrated one out of all of it. Yeah. But he seems more in terms of he's the man behind the gas hats, not the virus. But he's, so he, doing, he's using the gas hats to help spread the bugsters, too. So it's like, huh. And the way he's more, if we're going to do a guy in parallel, he's Sengoku right now. Only far less kind of insane. Mm. <laughs> eh. Okay, he's a different kind of crazy than Sengoku was. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he's more, far more malicious than, outright malicious than Sengoku was. Sengoku is more like, I am happy and joyful, but I will rip your face off eventually. <laughs> well, um, he was light game, kill everyone kind of deal. 
Yeah, he played the long game super hard, which is what Gim has been doing the entire time for 12 episodes, which sounds odd to say. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, the long game for the first 12 episodes of the show. Brother, can you be less creepy? No. Is that a thing you can be? No. Jesus. Well, Terry's not happy. <laughs> oh, for whatever reason, my chair has now developed a squeak. I'm not sure why it's squeaking. Huh. Squeaks whenever I try to lean back. Oh. I think I am going to start my reread of all of Pokemon Adventures. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, pick up the first box set, which covers like the first two arcs of the manga. The red, blue, and yellow stuff, I believe is what the first box set covers. I'm going to pay it up on half for cheap, along with my remaining textbooks. <laughs> I've been wanting to reread that and all of that, but <sighs> I'd have to go online and find where the scans are for it. And I'm just like, you know, all this is released in English. I might as well buy it. <laughs> And since everything is organized into box sets, it's fantastic for me. You know, it's weird to watch this and then go, you know, the next time we see Terry after all of the double content, is in Drive, or in the Drive Saga, where he's happily married and with a kid. Yeah. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Yeah, he's like, he's super pissed off right now in Double, but eventually he's very happily married and has a kid. And is like, probably one of the best dads in the Ryder franchise. Mm-hmm. I'd say he's Shuzo levels as a dad, but he doesn't try to be embarrassing. Crap, someone's reverting. Mm. You just now realize this. Pretty much. <laughs> Do you remember what you did to her last time? Or helped? That, that, that wasn't very nice. Mm-hmm. Was that really necessary? 
apparently. Like, if you're gonna throw something after, why don't you throw something bigger? He's got plenty of books over there if you're that pissed at him. I see they got the, still got the green screen on. Yep. I don't think he gives two shits about you. You know, I honestly didn't remember his name. I just always refer to him as Weather. You seem very in control right now. Well, he's in control, but his rage isn't. Yeah. And now that I think about it, it's really odd that he is the double villain besides Eternal that keeps popping up in other media. Yeah. And by the way, now I, I remember the stupid move. Yep. <sighs> I forgot it was this one. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Weather is the main double representation of villains in, the, I think, all the Battle Red War games besides Eternal. No one else shows up. Well, it is the weather dope aunt memory. I would hope it has more than one trick up its sleeve.
Dirty, I don't think charging at him in bike mode is going to help. Well, I mean, he can give him a nasty road rash. That's still not going to help! <laughs> You know, Philip, you could just let go of the gun. That would help here. That would probably be far more helpful. I about forgot about that part, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Ghost Ager just started. God, Ghost Ager wasn't that good. What's bad is it got turned into the even worse Megaforce. I think what is... I'm wanting to say unanimously the worst Power Ranger season for everyone. Serious? Oh god, yes. It's even worse when Megaforce is an anniversary season. Like, that is meant to celebrate Power Rangers in general. And oh my god, you get handed Gokaiger and you fuck it up so hard. It is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh. Like, if you want a, a summary of what the fuck happened with Megaforce and how it all went wrong? I highly recommend Linkara's uh, Power Rangers retrospective on Megaforce and Super Megaforce. Like, that is the best way to experience those two seasons of a show without having to watch them. Because, oh good lord, should you not have to sit through this bullshit? Because, hmm. fuck. Anyway, y'all set on the next episode? Yep. Alright, starting up the next episode here in 3, 2, 1, go. But yeah, they get they literally get handed the best season for this in terms of with Go Kyger. And they proceed to fuck it up so bad for no fucking reason. Like, it's not even a case of them being lazy. Because it's not. It's them being so stupidly selective in their laziness. Like, let's cut out footage of Sentai-only teams sometimes. But then, towards the end of the show, let's cut out a Power Ranger from Sentai footage. Oh, wait, no. Let's cut out one specific Sentai red and the footage, but keep all the other four. Like, it's confusing as fuck. The choice right there. Oh, hi, Terror. <laughs> uh. 
It's like, oh, you beat the shit out of those two. Come with me to have tea and not kill them. Because I don't fucking care. <laughs> I literally don't give a shit. Jotaro, stop trying to act cool. Shotaro, stop acting cool. Stop acting like you're dying, because you're not dying. Mm -hmm. No, you're just passing out for a little bit. Yeah. Yep. Phillip's pissed. Yeah, I'm, I'm just literally going, Shotaro, stop trying to be cool. Also, stop trying to imitate the boss when he died. Because <laughs> that's exactly what you're doing. Uh-huh. Why do we not invite Shotro's actor back more often? Well, let me, let me say this again. Why was the one time we invited him back past Mega Max that god-awful Comrade Tyson film? Like, why? Yeah, that's a good question. Oh, by the way, the new Superior Tyson has been announced. Do <sighs> you know what it's called? <sighs> it probably don't matter what it's going to be called. It's going to be complete and utter garbage like the rest of them have been. Well, it's called Cho Superhero Tyson. And it is Commander Cross Super Sentai. It's Cho Superhero Tyson. You know what that means? What? It's Super Superhero Tyson. Wow. Let's see, and here's the description of this while these two are arguing. In the upcoming film, Game World launches an attack on to the real world, approaching in front of Comrade x aid in the Uchusenti Q Ranger is the arena of death, wherein the destruction of Earth will be decided. Trapped in the inescapable dimension, generations of Super Sentai and Kamen Riders must emerge in a battle royale, or must engage in a battle royale, an uns unprecedented battlefield of many puzzling connection puzzles connecting the real and game worlds in them those heroes revive everything is scaled up all rules are broken and when it when it seems like the real world will fall imagination brings forth unimaginable new heroes that sounds like a whole lot of hot garbage mm -hmm off the bat, and we don't even know who the fuck's writing this. Sounds like I yet another excuse to have fucking writer and Sentai fight each other for no stupid reason.
So you just sticking a whole bunch of guy memories in your ass and for for why? I don't think you're getting closer to the truth. No. I don't want to be in the woman's arms. I want down. Let me down. That is what that cat is saying right now. To be fair, that's Shotro's own damn fault for how he is right now. <laughs> fair. Of course, it's actually kind of a combination, but yeah. Yeah. Then you will continue to get the slipper until she gets the information she wants. <laughs> See? Well, he's kind of an old man. He kind of knows these things in these shows. And here would be the reason now Nagasawa was chosen as the lady magician. She could do her own stunts. <laughs> she is the former Hurricane Blue from Hurricane Jer.
There you go. Yeah. Finally clicking for him. Now that I think about it, is it weird that this that they repeat this for trial in a way? Because I think that's how trial goes. If, if I'm not mistaken, I think you're right. Terry just keeps running into daughters and granddaughters that are in trouble. That's not creepy at all. It's like, oh yeah, it's all my previous husband's things. That is currently dust in the wind. Not much of a sellout crowd. You know, I miss the hero, big hero comeback music. So we haven't got that the last couple of shows. True. Great, I just miss nice, good instrumental pieces in Ryder because we haven't got that in a while. No, not Wally's big brother. <laughs> what, Tanky? No, Tank R. Damn it, you're right. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm.
Uh, with the help of a snail. You were looking forward to experimenting with a memory that kills its owner on yourself? Wow. Is that a prerequisite for writer villains to be a certain kind of crazy? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you wanted for the fact that it turns you fucking invisible, not the fact that it fucking kills you! Ah. <laughs> uh. You lost your goddamn mind there, Weather? Apparently. Wow, I didn't know they played the theme here. Granted, this is the first time they do a proper team up, so. Yeah, wrap this up so I can sleep off this very bad thing I did. Even though it's three of us. What's well, perfect for the fact that Shotaro comes up with all the finisher names? Yep. Which is perfectly in character for him. Hi, Shroud. Well, that's not creepy at all. Jojo, not you. Go back to bed.
Okay, this is extremely hilarious considering the Axel movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, God damn it, why? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck me, those two episodes. Oh, man. The fucking dream episode. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about those. Uh. <sighs> oh, fuck the Ditto movies. Oh, God. I Just let, I... let's combo those. <laughs> The Cho Deno movies that are all terrible, by the way. Fuck! I forgot about those too! Those came out around now. Uh. <laughs> For those running, one of those three movies is in fact a decade movie. Episode Yellow is a the end movie. Yeah. Where he gets the end complete. Which uses the powers of all of the main villains of all of the solo writer films plus Skull. Why does the inn have those powers? Fuck if I know. Reasons. Yeah, I I don't understand the inn complete. I especially don't understand the fact it's like, why is Skull here? Because he's the only good guy here. He is literally the only good guy here. Like, if this came out, like, like, six months later from when it came out, Eternal would have been taking his place, because they're all supposed to be villains from solo films. But I don't know why Skill's here. I don't understand why they went with the movie villains and not the fucking secondary writers. Which would make more sense! Yeah, especially seeing as how in the show he pulls the secondary writers. He pulls secondary, tertiary, and fourthiary writers all the time. It's like, um, yeah, good one. <sighs> like, I don't think he ever, I think he only ever pulls like a couple of the writers he's pulled maybe once or twice. I think the weird thing is, I think I see where they're pulling DN complete from, but they then keep it going the entire show. All right, do you remember way back when in the Agito episodes where DN stole a chip? Yeah, that's the G4 chip for Kamen Rider G4 from the G4 movie. Well, he also stole the Orgabel, which is the Fies Rider that he uses for the end complete. But that's the only over two things of those riders he's ever stole. <sighs> so I assume the implication is that the incomplete is a culmination of all the shit he stole but they don't say that, so it makes no goddamn sense in context. You have to remember these two random things that happened in two sets of episodes from the end to even come close to putting this shit together. And even then, it's still a stretch because it only explains two. Yeah, it doesn't explain... Uh, Ryuga. Well, the problem is it doesn't explain the others because Dien wasn't around for those episodes. He came in in the Fies episodes, and I think he wasn't... I think he, after that it was only, what, Fies and Akito? I think. Let me check. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's Fies where uh Dian shows up. Then it's Akito. Then it's Dino. Then Kabuto. Then Hibiki. But they make no reference to Kabuki. They make no reference to whatever the fuck the Kabuto one was. I don't remember him. And there's no Dino one in the end complete? Which makes literally less sense considering this is a fucking Dino movie that they debut this in. Let me check that. I might be wrong. Uh, yeah. Or Jeff Wave. Caucasus. That's what it is. Yeah, that's Akito. That's Ryuga. That's Vice. That's Blade. That's Hibiki. Kabuto. They don't even do a Dino one! They skipped Akiva! What? That makes even less sense now! Why is there not a Ditto villain in here? Why... Why did you take out doing a Ditto villain and put in Skull? Did you have none of the Ditto villain suits? You know what it was? They were all repurposed. Into what? Thin air. <laughs> but here's the thing, there's like five Ditto villains! Uh. Give me a second. There's a ridiculously number of fucking Ditto villains. Two. Yeah, that's one, two, you don't count, you don't count, <laughs> three, four, there are five Dano villain suits, including the one that this fucking that appears in the fucking movie along with it. You're telling me you couldn't pick one that none of them are available, including the one in this movie? Granted, that's the one they blow up anyway. Well, then that explains why they couldn't use that one. But there's four others. Four. One of them is a repaint of fucking sword form for Dano. What the fuck? Literally, Mega Dino is a repaint of regular sword form Dino. And you're telling me that suit's not available? God damn it. The incomplete now makes less sense than, it, than I originally thought it did. Oh. Fuck you for bringing up the show Dino movies double. God damn it. Wait, anything else before we end off? Nope. Alright, next week, we'll keep going with Double and just get through the fucking dream episodes. Uh, yeah. And I guess we'll go through Axel Trial as well, and figure out something to do after that. I think that was the plan to begin with. Yeah. Problem is... I don't know what. I legit got nothing. But anyway, that'll do it for... Ramp it up, Slump. And a very, very confused piece maker to incorporate saying, Good night, everybody. And we'll see you on the next round of the game of Zero Tracks. Peace out. <laughs>